Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful comfy slipper. This slipper is very easy to make. It's great for beginner. I have three written pattern for size 5 to size 12. This is the shoe size and also this slipper is stretchy as well and very easy to adjust the sizes. And if you prefer the PDF, pinnable version is available for purchase on my Etsy and my Ravelry store. And I will put all the links in the description below. For this tutorial, I'll show you in size 7 slash 8. And I hope you enjoy! Here is the material that I use for this project. For this project, I use two kinds of yarn. This is gonna be the main color, main yarn. And this one going to be the second color. So as you can see here, this is going to be the main color, main yarn. And this the second one here. I did use a little bit around the cuff here. And you can use just one color of yarn, totally up to you. But I recommend use two kinds of this yarn. It turned out very, very cute. I love it. <laughs> And very easy to make as well. So yeah, this is my main color. This is Joanne brand. This is buttercream opaca solid. And this is side super bulky number six yarn. In each ball is have 130 yards or 119 meters. 80% acrylic. 20% opaca. It's very nice yarn. <laughs> and this is color gray. And this is color B, the second color. This is line brand, go for fur, thick and quick yarn. This side, jumbo number seven. And here is the color. I just used a little bit. For all the sizes, you just need one of each ball, okay? From 5 to 12, the two side. Alright? And then crochet hook, size 8 millimeters. Your needle, stitch marker, and scissors. Before we start, I just want to talk about the pattern a little bit. For this pattern, it's very easy to make. It's great for beginner. It's also great for the uh, winter gift project. I love it so much. And yeah, we will start at the uh, top here. We're going to make a magic ring and we're going to use half double crochet for the slipper part here. We will crochet in round for eight rounds. After we have 8 rounds, we're going to crochet in row. Okay, we're just going to crochet in row back and forth, back and forth until we reach the hill. And then after we reach the hill, we will sew the hill together. And don't worry, I will go slowly. This is just some idea. And then after we sew the hill, we're going to use the color B here to crochet around the cuff. That's it. Very easy to make. I promise you, even you are beginner, you can do it. And I also gonna go slowly. And like I said, I have three written pattern for size 5 to size 12. So for size 5 and 6 is the same size, 7 and 8 is the same size, 9 and 10 is the same size, 11 and 12 is the same size. Okay, and for this tutorial, I will show you in size 7, 8. And this slipper is very to adjust the sizes as well and also very stretchy. Even you wear bigger than size 12, I think you can wear it because it's stretchy. Okay, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, first, I'm going to bring my color A. And then... We're going to start off with a magic ring. So you can use any method you prefer for the magic ring. I'm just going to hold the yarn like this and then I twist it like this. You 
okay I hold it right here I insert my hook into that loop and then yarn over hook pull up a loop and chain one and this chain one doesn't count as chain one okay it's the part of the magic ring now we have a magic ring and then to start round one I'm gonna chain one and this chain one doesn't count at a stitch after I chain one here I gonna make nine half double crochet into this ring space so I yarn over my hook insert the hook into the ring space pull up a loop I have three loops on my hook I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook this is my first half double crochet on round one and then I'm gonna place the stitch marker into that first half double crochet as well and then eight more half double crochet so yarn over insert the hook into the same ring space pull up a loop three loops on my hook I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook just repeat that until you have nine half double crochet so far I have two okay yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook repeat that yarn over insert the hook into the same ring space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook yarn over insert the hook into the same ring space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook okay just repeating that until you have nine half double crochet okay now I have nine half double crochet here's what it looks like and then I want you to pull this tail tight to close up this hole okay just pull it like that okay now I'm at the end of round one and I have nine half double crochet stitches around to finish the round one we're gonna slip stitch into the first half double crochet which is the marker stitch so I remove this stitch marker first and then insert the hook into that stitch pull up a loop and pull it through like that and then start round two we chain one the chain one never count at a stitch and then we're gonna make two half double crochet into each stitch around to increase okay so I yarn over insert the hook into the first stitch here pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then we always gonna place this stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one more half double crochet into the same stitch yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then two half double crochet into the next stitch two half double crochet into the next stitch two half double crochet into the next Yes, just keep making two half double crochet into each stitch around. At the end of round two, you should have 18 half double crochet. I'm at the end of round two and I have 18 half double crochet stitches around and then we're gonna slip stitch into the first half double crochet here which is the marker stitch so I can now remove this stitch marker insert the hook into that stitch pull up a loop and pull it through okay 
and then for round three we're gonna chain one and the chain one like i said never count at its stitch and then we're gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch around so yarn over insert the hook into the first stitch pull up a loop make half double crochet don't forget to place this stitch marker into the first stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next like that okay just keep making one half double crochet into each stitch around and when you reach the end of round three you should have the same 18 half double crochet stitches because we're not increased anymore okay i will make you get back in when i reach the end of round three I'm at the end of round three here and I have the same 18 half double crochet stitches around. Make sure to count your stitches. So to finish round three again we're gonna slip stitch into the marker stitch. So remove this stitch marker first, insert the hook into that stitch, pull up a loop and pull through. Okay so round four to round eight we're gonna repeat round three. And every round, you should have the same amount of these stitches, which is 18 stitches. Okay? So, yeah, remember, round three, we start with chain one. And the chain one never count at a stitch. And make one half double crochet into each stitch around. Okay, this is the first half double crochet. Place this stitch marker into the first half double crochet. Half double crochet into next stitch. Half double crochet into the next. Half double crochet into the next. Just repeating round three. Okay? And at the end of round three, you're gonna slip stitch into that marker stitch and then start new round. Just repeat round three. Alright? So now I'm starting round four. So like I said, round four to round eight, we're gonna repeat round three. And then I will be back when I reach the end of round eight. And then for round, uh, after that, we're gonna, after round eight, we're gonna crochet in row. Just this part, just the bottom and the side of your feet, okay? Not on top anymore. Just here, we're gonna crochet back and forth, back and forth. All right, I will show you how to do that, don't worry. And yeah, I will miss you guys back in when I reach the end of round 8. Okay, now I'm at the end of round 8 here. And I also slip stitch into the first half double crochet already. So for round, for row 9, we're going to crochet in row now, okay? So for row 9, we're going to chain 1. And then make one half double crochet into each of next 13 stitches. So yarn over, insert the hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop and make the double crochet, sorry, the half double crochet. Okay, this is the first half double crochet. And then keep making half double crochet until you have 13 half double crochet. So just one here, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, now I have thirteen half double crochet here. I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm not gonna crochet into the last five stitches. I'm just gonna leave it open, okay, for the top of the uh, foot. Alright, and then for row 10, I'm gonna chain one and turn. See, we, we're just gonna crochet back and forth now. And then we're gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch. 
a class, which is 13 stitches. So after chain one in turn, I make half double crochet into the first stitch, just half double crochet into each stitch. Now I'm at the end of row 10 and I have the same 13 half double crochet stitches across. Make sure to count your stitches. I don't want you to increase or decrease by accident. And then for row 11 to row 14, we're just going to repeat row 10. Okay, let me show you a couple more stitches. So you chain one and turn and make half double crochet into each stitch across. Just repeating row 10. And every row, you're going to have the same, 13 half double crochet. Like that. Okay. Yeah, this is row 11. You're just going to keep crochet, one half double crochet into each stitch across. And then at the end, you're going to chain one and turn, start row 12. And then half double crochet into each stitch across. And then row 13, do the same chain one, half double crochet into each stitch across. Just keep doing that. So for the side that I'm making, which is size uh, 7, 8, I'm going to keep repeating row 10 until I have 14 rows. Okay, this is row 11 here. So 11, 12, 13, 14, repeating row 10. And at the end of row 14 should reach the end of my heel and I will show you in the picture here okay and every size is, is different if you wearing smaller size you might just make 13 rows or if you bigger size you make more than 14 rows like I said I have free written pattern for you guys you just check on that as well and I will miss you guys back in when I reach the end of row 14. Good luck and take your time count your stitches. Okay now I'm at the end of row 14 here is what it looks like and I want you to try it on make sure that uh, the end of whatever side that you're making so if the size 7 or 8 like I'm making here the end of row 14 here should reach the end of your heel, like in the picture there, okay? Like I said, every size is, is different. Just follow your side and also uh, tie it on, all right? And then after I tie it on my slipper, the end of row 14 here, just reach the end of my heel. And then after that, I just gonna cut the yarn and then sew uh, this together, like this here this part okay I gonna cut the yarn I leave about 10 inches tail maybe not that much but just in case and then pull the yarn out I bring my yarn needle insert that tail into the yarn needle like that and then we're gonna sew this together here make sure you will sew on the wrong side so now this is the right side so i'm gonna turn the inside out like this i don't have to turn the whole thing but yeah <laughs> anyway so this is the inside and then i'm just gonna sew just sew back and forth so i'm gonna sew into the first stitch here and then go back to the first stitch where the yarn come from as well. Like that. Okay. And then insert into the next stitch here and the next stitch there. Next stitch here and the next stitch there. 
next stitch here and then next stitch there next stitch here and then next stitch there next stitch here and next stitch there all right and then at the end here you're just gonna hide the tail it's fairly easy right <laughs> Yeah, just keep hiding your tail, make sure it's secure, and then you trim the tail. Like that. Here is the wrong side, and here is the right side. That's what it looks like. This is the heel part. Yeah, just keep hiding your tail, and then trim the tail. And you're done with the sleeper part. And then next, we're going to crochet around the cuff here. I'm going to use my... Color B for that. For the cuff here, we're gonna crochet on the right side, okay? This is my right side. So I'm gonna insert my hook around the heel here, on the back here. Just around here. And then bring my color B here, which is the line brand, go for fur here. It's gonna be difficult to see the stitches, but we just make one row, so it's not no big deal. <laughs> After I insert the hook there, I bring my color B and hold it on the back like this, and yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and then chain one. So this chain one is count as one single crochet, and then we're just gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around very easy so i insert the hook into next stitch here i'm gonna work over this tail as well so i hide the tail at the same time insert the hook pull up a loop and then make a single crochet like that and then single crochet into the next stitch here insert the hook there pull up a loop and make single crochet Sorry, difficult to see the stitches here, but like I say, it's no big deal. We just make one row. So yeah, just make single crochet into each stitch around. So next stitch here, I insert the hook there, pull up a loop, and then make single crochet like that. Single crochet into the next stitch right here, pull up a loop, and make a single crochet like that. Single crochet into next stitch here, pull up a loop, and make a single crochet. And single crochet into next stitch here, pull up a loop, make single crochet, next stitch here, next stitch here. Next stitch here, like that, okay? Just keep crochet around. I will miss you guys back in when you reach the end here. Okay, now I'm at the end here. I'm just going to cut the yarn. Just leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end. Cut the yarn, pull the yarn out, and then hide the tail. So this is very big yarn. I cannot fit in my um, your needle, so I'm just gonna use the hook to hide the tail. So I'm just gonna insert the hook into the first stitch here, bring the tail in, and then just kind of like insert back and forth like that. Kinda like high inside here, like that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, difficult to see, but I'm I'm pretty sure you know how to do single crochet right around and hiding the tail, and that's it. Just keep hiding your tail. Make sure it's secure, and then you trim the tail, and you're done. And then, yeah, <laughs> very easy, right? And you need two of these, exactly the same. As you can see here, I have two already, exactly the same. 
very easy pattern. And yeah, congratulations. I hope you enjoy making this slipper. If you do, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram. I will put all the links in the description below. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye.